Hello guys and welcome back to another quick video with me Slivers FX. This is Gothic 2 New Balance again and we're here to pick up the Eye of Venos. Now the uh, the quest is pretty much the same as in Gothic 2 Gold but I wanted to show you that there is a special dialogue between uh, Xardas and Pyrocar when you uh, gather all the uh, equipment. Anyway, we're here with Milton. Let's get right into it. And... Uh, we can actually get in, right. even though we have already gotten in before. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna talk to Pyrocar about the Eye of Enos. Hey. We're, gonna tell, we're gonna tell him to bless us even though it's 200 gold. I love the blessing of uh, health regen. And we're gonna get on our way. And Jorgen's here. <laughs> okay, he's one of the, uh, what you call those, uh, sailors that can help you reach, uh, Irdarath at the end of chapter 5, or chapter 6 in this case. And we're just gonna kill everything that's on the way towards the uh, the cave for the Fire Mage's trial. Even the Seekers. Seekers are the most annoying part of this. And we're gonna do this speed mode as fast as we possibly can. I'm gonna try to avoid any Seekers... Um, trying to talk to me because we do not want to get possessed hey, what? we can talk to about this rogue you can uh, easily just kill him afterwards <coughs> nobody will see it anyway besides he's a bandit rogue or bandit that's the same for me okay and uh there shouldn't be any seekers around here. There's one there. Towards the Jarkandar's uh, temple. Or excavation in this case. Okay. We keep going. We keep going. You guys already know the drill. Woo! A lot of new animals spawn every time you uh, enter a new uh, chapter, by the way. Oh yeah, we're not supposed to go that way. We just keep going this way. And there's a novice right there. There's a lurker right there. There's another lurker right there. A new one. Grimball will tell you that he has seen another novice come by. This rogue will ask you if they're looking for someone. You might as well rob them. You kill them with one shot because they're weaklings. There's gonna be a dragon snapper over here. As well as the seekers that are still guarding the Eye of Enos that I haven't cleared out yet. As well as a dark master. Yep, lizards, everything's here. There we go, there's another seeker. He's not even going to attack you because he wants to speak to you and possess you. Nice. Everything has been done. Now to get the Eye of Enos. Now we can teleport back to the monastery. Talk to Pyrocar again. Okay, we're going to talk to Vatras. Oh shit. Okay, he also gives you the uh, desecrated shrines quest. It's kind of funny. Even though you're not a paladin or anything, you're just a scout. Okay, Batras will tell you. Relief for Batras. So we do need to go to the uh, excavation site again. Or in this case, Jarkandar. And ask the water mages to make a replacement for Batras. In this case, it's going to be Mixer, I believe. Yeah. Saturas. 
also may add a Okay, relief for Vatras is done. Let's go to teleport to the uh Cornice again, South Gate. Wish it could load a little faster. But at this point the mod is so huge it's quite insane. Oh hello, that's Mixer. You can rob him again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Venus is broken. New spread fast, okay. Okay, so first we go to Pyrocar again and then we're gonna go to Xardas. Because I don't wanna go to the Circle of the Sun to talk to Xardas. Now we can go to Xardas and talk to him about the book that the Halls of Irderath yeah. book. I've read. Oh, no. What are that? That Wait a minute. For that, I Make sure you talk to him twice about the key that he gives you to the uh, Secops farm. There's a chest there, and the book is gonna be inside of it. Now, even though Pyrocar cannot open it, uh, oh look, Secops here, and the Seekers are always also here. Let's actually talk to him first. And we're gonna just get rid of these four Seekers that are inside. I think four of them. If there's not five. And one on this side. There we go, that's done. I'm gonna open this, make sure you grab all the seekers before uh, they return to their houses. We get 1500 experience and a little bit of gold. We got uh, the book. Now we can go back to the monastery and give Pyrocar the book as well. It's a Uh, okay, he will probably just go to um, to the Circle of the Sun. We need to go to Owner's Farm and talk to Bennett about repairing uh, the Eye of Enos. Now, you do have to wait a day for this. This is still like it was in the base game. So, still sleeping here. And now we can go back to the Circle of the Sun. And this is where the um, conversation triggers. Hello, Mac. You still have the audacity to show up here. I was invited here. It is my duty to be present here. And I had the audacity to show up in such places where you wouldn't even dream of being in your worst nightmare. Your primary duty was once to serve the Holy Fire. But for some reason, you decided that you could neglect it. You shamelessly left the Circle of Fire, and for what? To indulge in the study of demonic magic. Shame on you, evildoer! Today, Inos subjected me to the heavy suffering of meeting with you. And I swear by his name, I would prefer to be cast into the Abyss, rather than experience what I am experiencing now rather than see your shameless eyes boldly staring into mine, rather than witness what the servant of Inos has quickly become. In the devotion to Koev's church and the holy flame, no one doubted. From the yellow-mouthed novice to the king, no one. Everything that happens in the world is the will of the gods. We do not determine our own destiny. What are you talking about? The brave hero who defeated the sleeper and destroyed the barrier was guided all this time by the knowledge granted to me by Beliar. I raised him from the dead with the power given to me by Beliar so that he could save us from the dragon. Now I have come here as a representative of Beliar, following the call of the hero to help restore the artifact 
that poses a danger to the Dark God. What other Dark Mage would agree to this instead of turning you into dust? I want to hear what the respected servant of Inos has to say. Do not dare to utter the name of our Lord with your filthy lips, apostate. Are you capable of anything other than spreading demagogy, supreme mage? Do you owe the places of the prior anything for leaving the monastery? You took the throne in the church of the monastery while I went to create a barrier. I was against the barrier. Releasing such a huge amount of magical energy was initially a colossal risk. And it was a risk that paid off. You all ended up under the dome. Hmm. All right, so that was the conversation between Zardos and Pyrocar. And uh, now that we have everything, then we can begin uh, restoring the Eye of Inos. Now, Vatras here asked for three stalks of swamp wheat, but in all honesty, he just wanted the wheat. Even if you don't bring in anything, he's, uh, he's okay with that. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now we are entering chapter 4. And uh, that's it for uh, getting the Eye of Venus. Now there is going to be new uh, enemies spawning everywhere again. So you might have to keep an eye out on what you're doing and where you're doing it. But this is it for this uh, little... Uh, but that's it for this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation and enlightens you a little bit about the uh, this conflict between Zardas and Pyrocar. Okay, uh, I really love that they actually put this into it, and uh, yeah, I liked it. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe as always, and if you need anything or you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. We also have a Discord channel. And uh, if you have any questions that I cannot answer, maybe people there will. Okay, have a fun day and I'll see you in the next video.